So, here the suggestion is that this body is useless. But that does not mean we should not take care. I will care. Just like you are going from one place to another place on your car. The car, you are not this car, but because you have to use the car for your work, you have to take care of the car also. But not much care that you simply become absorbed in the car business and no other business. Just like somebody, too much attachment to the car is polishing the car whole day. Policy. So, we should not be too much attached to this body. But because with this body we have to execute Krishna consciousness, therefore we should keep it fit on. That is called Jukta Vaira. We shall not neglect. We shall take regular bath, we shall take regular nice food. Krishna Prasadam, keep our mind and body healthy, that is required. So Krishna consciousness movement does not say that artificially simply make some renouncement, all nonsense. And, and, and to recompensate, you take to some drugs, you take to some uh, intoxication. No. You take nice food. Krishna has given nice food, uh, fruits, grains, milk. Uh, you can prepare hundreds and thousands of preparation nice with this food, grains, and we are doing that. Our purpose for inviting you in the love feast is that replace with Krishna prasadam with your uh, all nonsense food stuff. They are not healthy. These are healthy food. Healthy food, palatable, healthy food. So, uh, eat Krishna prasadam, nice prasadam. If you all tongue want some nice palatable dish, we can supply you hundreds, thousands. Offer to Krishna uh, samosa and this uh, sweet ball, rasagulla, and these, so many things we can supply. You see, we are not prohibited. But don't take too much. Oh, it is very palatable, like we take one dozen of No, don't take it. Then that is not good. That is greediness. You should simply take so much as you will keep your body fit. That's all. You should sleep so much as you will keep your body fit. That's all. Nothing more. Jukta-hāra vihārasya jūga bhavatisi. This is called jukta. We should eat simply for keeping healthy condition. We shall sleep simply for keeping healthy. But if you can reduce, that's nice. But not at the risk of becoming sick. Because in the beginning, because we are accustomed to eat voraciously, so don't try to eat less artificially. You eat but try uh, to minimize it. The more, therefore, there are prescription of fasting. Uh, at least two compulsory fastings in a month. And there are other fasting days. The more you can reduce your sleep and eating, you keep good health, especially for spiritual purpose. But not artificial. Not artificial, but he, when you advance, naturally you will not feel. Uh, just like Raghunath Das Goswami, there are examples. 
Raghunath Das Goswami was very rich man's son, and he left home. So he joined Lord Chaitanya. So his father, he was the only son, very beloved son, very nice wife, left everything. So his and left means stealing without saying anything. Somehow or other he uh, left home. And the father could understand he has gone to Lord Chaitanya, Puri. So he sent four servants because he was a very rich man, and four hundred rupees. Five hundred years ago, four hundred rupees means twenty times at the present time. So, uh, first of all he accepted that, oh, Father has not like, so what you are, how you are spending money? So he was inviting all the sannyasins in Jagannath Puri. There are many sannyasins, renounced order. And every month he was offering feasting. Then after a few days, Lord Chaitanya inquired his secretary, uh, Sarup Dhamma, oh, nowadays I don't get any invitation from Raguna. What happened? Oh, Sir, he has stopped accepting his father's money. Oh, oh that's very nice. Uh, he thought that I have renounced everything and I am enjoying my father's money. Uh, this is not nonsense. He refused. He asked the man, you go home. I don't want money. Then how is living? Oh, he is standing on the staircase of Jagannath temple. And when the priests go home with their prasadam, they offer something and he is satisfied. <coughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Oh, this is all right, very nice. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was inquiring how he is standing there. So he saw him standing. So Raghunath Das Goswami, after a few days, he stopped that standing. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired his secretary, I don't see Raghunath standing there. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, no, sir, he has given up their standing because he thought, oh, I'm standing just like the prostitute. Somebody will come and give me something. No, no, I don't like this. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, then how is eating? Oh, he is collecting some rejected rice in the kitchen, and that he is eating. So to encourage Raghunath Das Goswami, one day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to his room. Raghunath, I heard that you are eating very nice food stuff, and you are not inviting me. Uh, uh, so he, is, he was not replying. So he was finding out where he has kept that rice. And he took and immediately began to uh, uh, say, you do not eat. This is not fit for you. Oh, it is Jagannath uh, prasadam. How do you say it is not fit? Just to encourage him. He may not think that I am eating this object. In this way, Raghunath Das Goswami reduced his food staff ultimately every alternate day only one piece of or it is called butter. So, so much. And he was offering, even bowing down hundreds times, chanting so many times. Sankha Purvaka Nama, you have uh, heard it uh, while singing six Goswami song. Sankha Purvaka Nama Gananati Bhi Kalavasani Krito. So there are very nice examples of minimizing, minimizing all material necessities up to the point meal, you see. But that is not possible for everyone. Don't try to imitate Raghunath Das Goswami. 
But because they were associates of Lord Chaitanya, each one of them showed some example, a unique example, how Krishna consciousness can be advanced. But our business is not to imitate them, but try to follow them. Try to follow them as far as possible, not artificially. Therefore, here it is said, there is no possibility of one's becoming a yogi if you try to become immediately Raghunath Das Goswami by imitating. You will fail. Whatever progress you have made, that will be finished. No, not that. You eat, but don't eat more. That's all. Eating more is no good. You eat. If you are elephant, you eat hundred pounds. But if you are ant, you eat one grain. Don't eat hundred pounds imitating the elephant. God has given food to the elephant and to the ant. But if you are actually elephant, then you eat like you eat like elephant. But if you are ant, don't eat like elephant, then you will be trouble. So yet it is said. There is no possibility of one's becoming a yogi or jogi if one eats too much or is too little. Very nice program. Don't eat too little, you eat whatever you require. But don't eat no uh, more. Similarly, uh, don't sleep more if you can keep your health perfect, but try to reduce it. Suppose you are sleeping ten hours, but if I keep, keep myself fit by sleeping five hours, why should I sleep ten hours? So this is the past. Don't do anything artificial. In the so far the body is concerned, we have got four demands: eating, sleeping, mating, and defect. The defect is that modern civilization, that they are thinking that this eating process, sleeping process, if we can increase, oh, that is very nice. If we can sleep the whole day and night on Saturday and Sunday, oh, it is great profit in your life. That is the civilization. They, they think it is an opportunity to enjoy life, to sleep. Uh, the thirty hours a day. No, don't do that. Reduce it. Try to reduce it, but not artificial. Go on. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 